Margot Thinks Twice by Monica Arnaldo. Margot woke up early one Saturday with an urge to create. She crept around the house collecting everything she needed. Just as she began to glue, a very important step according to Margot, her mother appeared in the doorway. Easy with the glue, Margot, her mother said. But I'm making something, said Margot. Well, be careful, her mother laughed as she continued down the hall. The last thing we need is you sticking to everything. Margot hadn't considered this. Margot spent the afternoon outside, far from the worrisome glue pot. She was about to leap from her swing when she heard her mother calling. Keep that bottom planted, Margot. But I'm about to break the world record, said Margot. Well, be careful. It's getting windy and there's no telling where you'll land. It was true that Margot hadn't factored in the wind. Later that day, Margot's mother announced they had errands to run. When the pair entered the clothing store, Margot brightened and ducked straight into the rack of clothes. Time to come out, Margot, her mother said as she headed for the checkout. But I'm playing jungle explorers, said Margot. Well, be careful. We don't want you getting lost on your adventure. Margot's hamster Poppy had gotten lost last year while she was giving him a tour of the house. The family had never seen him again. Margot imagined being lost like Poppy and began to worry in earnest. Margot gripped her mother's hand tightly as they left the store. Just one last stop, stop said Margot's mother. Let's see what kinds of critters they have in here. Okay, but let's be careful, whispered Margot. Squawk! Ah! Screech! Margot, look, her mother said. Margot peeked. They had reached the back of the shop and stopped in front of a gate. A creature padded towards her. It was a hungry wolf. It was a big brown bear. It was terrifying. Lick. A big sloppy kiss landed on Margot's face. She looked into the creature's eyes and saw a friendly dog smiling back at her. Margot peered around the shop. The loud squawks were coming from a tiny bird and the giant prickly creature had deflated into a thin little fish. What do you think? Margot's mother asked. Should we take him home? Well, he might get into all sorts of trouble and he might be clumsy and messy and just like us, her mother said gently. This time, Margot didn't have to think twice. He'll fit right in, she laughed, wrapping their new dog in a great big hug. The end.